For those that follow the channel, you may remember I made this wallcade unit for an At Games Build Your Own Legends contest where you had to use an At Games Legends Connect board right here for your build. I ended up giving this wallcade to a friend and all I can say is he had problems with it. So what do I think of this Legends Connect board? Well, it's trash. So what are we going to replace it with? Let's use a Radza Zero and let's use EMU Elect as our front end. You can see right here I've already done the vertical build and I've put the UI in the vertical orientation. I can do another video showing how I did that. For right now we're going to focus on rotating the image in RetroArch and then I'm going to show you how to lay a bezel and create a vertical bezel for your vertical build. As you can see, if we're staring at the screen head on, the RetroArch menu UI is still horizontal. I don't believe there's a way to make RetroArch turn to a vertical orientation with all the menus proper, but if there is somebody in the comments, please let me know. For this demonstration, I'm just going to spin the image in the video so we can see what's going on. Now, I am using RetroArch 1.10. So some of the menu selects might be slightly different if you're using older versions. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to rotate the game. And to do that, we're going to go to settings, video output, and then we're going to go to video rotation and you can spin the game at a 90, 180, 270 degree angle until you get it how it needs to be on your monitor. After that, we're going to go to scaling, same settings, settings, video scaling, and we're going to scale this aspect ratio to 4-3 so we get the right aspect in a vertical mode. Now most vertical arcade games are basically a 3-4 aspect ratio. But since we already spun the screen, we're setting this to 4-3 to get it right. Now here I'm going to flip the screen again so you can see how it looks when you're looking head on with it now. But first, once we have the settings correct... We want to go to quick menu overrides and save game overrides. That's going to save those changes you made to the orientation. Now we exit, flip the screen so you can see it in the video. And this is what we are working with now. Now that we have the aspect ratio right, let's create a bezel and lay it on top. The reason we have to do this because we're using a 16 by 9 screen. So we have black bars on the top and bottom. We're going to start with a 1920 by 1080 canvas and then i'm going to put the marquee of the game on the top and then i'm going to put an image on the bottom basically like a control panel image but we need to get those two images the top and the bottom the right scaling and the top image is going to be a 1080 by 240 pixel image and now i'm just going to copy this marquee over to the canvas and format it so it's perfectly placed on the top Now, after we do this uh, marquee on the top, we're going to do what I said was a control panel design on the bottom. And this is going to be the same, a 1080 by 240 size image. I'm just going to create it here. And then I'm going to copy it over to the canvas and place on the bottom. Now that we have our bezel complete, we need to save it with a specific file name. We're going to save this one as B time one. And it's important that you remember what you save the file name is, and it must be a PNG to save the transparency. So we're going to do B time one dot PNG. And the reason we need to remember that name of that file is because we're going to make a matching config file from notebook plus plus that looks like this. This is the matching file for your overlay. You need two things for an overlay. You need a config file and you need the image file. Take note of how this config file looks and then make sure you change line two to the name of the image, btime1. And then you must save the file as btime1.cfg. After that, we're going to go into SSH and we're going to move these files over to, in this case, storage slash overlays because we're using EMU elect. If you're using a Pi with RetroPy, I believe it's in a RetroArch slash overlays directory. Uh, please Google that yourself and find out where that directory is. We're just going to copy and paste both those files over the config and the image file. You must move both of them into that folder. And then we're going to go back into RetroArch. We're going to go to settings. 
on-screen display, on-screen overlay. We're going to make sure it's on, and then we're going to select B time one as our overlay. You're going to have to make sure that is on for overlays. Go back to the game. There's our overlay. We're going to rotate it, and now it looks like this. A couple very important notes before we go. Make sure you do your save game override after you do the bezel change. And this isn't the only way to rotate games. Obviously, MAME, you can rotate the screen. Uh, but if you're using multiple emulators, and even if you're using horizontal games, you can put a horizontal game on here by just rotating it correctly in RetroArch. Some people say rotating the screen like this may cause emulation errors or slowdown. I have not experienced that. Leave your comments and questions below, and thanks for watching The Rexer Show.